Joining me in Hawks Live Gaming today, Nico Thorpe. He's got his EZ chain out. Easy. Hopefully it's not that easy of a match. In FIFA 20, we're gonna play the new version. He's excited to play the I'm new I'm super excited, new never version. played it before. So uh, let's just jump right into things and figure out what we're gonna do for teams here. We were talking before, but we won't go MLS. We'll go, we'll go some of the top dogs. All right. I'm you a big I'm soccer fan? You know, I, I, um, I became a fan once I started playing the game, really. Yep. I didn't, I didn't play the game in college like everybody else. I feel like I lost. But I started playing like, like my rookie year, and mm -hmm. then it kind of became my new Madden. Yeah. Yeah, I don't play Madden like that at all. A little bit of an outlet for you? Man, I, don't, I mean, if I play Madden, it's just, just, a, just to see how what's the new changes on it. But I'm yeah. Not, yeah. All right, where you going, England? I'll go England. Yeah, I'll go Liverpool here. All right, Liverpool. Who's all right? Who's a good matchup for that? You know, Barca is always good. Madrid is good. Either Real or Atletico. Oh, you. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got a good squad. Eighty-six. All right, them boys should be. There we go. Yeah. There we go. I like that. I like this matchup. They still got the same buttons, right? Yep. Same buttons. Same view. Um, you've been playing, I, I know you mentioned you haven't played FIFA in a while, but um, after college, when did you find yourself sort of getting into the game? Uh, like gaming? Yeah. Man, you know, you get some time to yourself and then after studying and you don't want to leave the house, pick up the sticks, man, then you know, being a, a competitor, mm -hmm. you know, I like to compete, talk <laughs> That was a good way. I'm looking for the switch though. Where you switch? Uh, the auto oh, switching? Yeah. Right there. I don't want to switch my people, man. That's yeah. how you split those. <laughs> I'll be thinking I'm on somebody, then they switch me somewhere. Yep. That's the only way you're going to score. <laughs> By the way. To be honest, I don't know how I'm going to score anyways, even if I had that on. So um, Can they see the game or what? Yeah, they're going to be seeing the game. They're going to be watching us, critiquing me mostly, not you. Um, so, and these are obviously just the pre-game warm-ups yeah, here. We'll this. skip, we'll skip oh, that. Right. Right, we'll skip that. Come on, no one wants to see that. They want to see the action, Nico. They want to get all into right. the game. All right. Let's give them what they want. Yep. So, football talk here. In the season, great start. What's been different about this year versus years prior that you've been here in Seattle? It's been cool. I, I would say every year is different. Every uh, every team is different, different uh, teammates. But this has definitely been a special year so far. We're just trying to keep it going and um, just get tighter, man, by the day, and just get better by the day. Really, everybody's trying to get better, man. So as we move into here, oh, gotta get. Hey, is it on all Madden or what? No, 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 no. You, you want to turn it up? I think it's just on pro or semi-pro. I've only played the one practice match. I wasn't trying to get too uh, too deep before I get disappointed in losing to you. So, I mean, the way you talk about uh, you gonna lose if you just so happen to win, you are just gonna be that's upset true. I'm trying to reverse Nico here. So you gonna be the upset you, alert, huh? I, I heard you claim that you were the FIFA god, so I'm trying to go the opposite here. Man. You're bigging yourself up. I'm trying to little myself down here. Well, guess what, man? I'm not gonna let you <laughs> down, bro. I won't. Whoa, 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 now. Nah. Oh, whoa, now. Nah. Here we go. Little, you little, little early too close to my goalie. I'm surprised Better I haven't got a shot off yet. Oh, there. See, that's what I'm talking about. This is See, I gotta, I gotta come. I gotta come with something to to boost my go. morality. Here yeah. we go. Here we go. Something. That's a that's a uh, corner, corner kick. Gotta be. Oh, goal kick. Wow. Here we go. I mean. So, do you watch any Champions League, Premier League? Are you watching any professional soccer? I know it's hard, obviously, during the season. I catch kinda... some games. Yeah, I catch some games. I would love to go um, to one, like a Barcelona game or some or a Real Madrid game. That would be dope. What, what can you take from soccer and apply it to your game in football? So what could you take from the world's football, essentially, and apply to yours? I mean, it's a team game, of course, you know, with uh I got to work together trying to get that goal, man. Mm -hmm. uh, I have been to one 
Well, yeah, only one. I went to, when I played for Kansas City, I went to the KC, uh, they team, they professional team. I went to their game, and I would say, man, it's, it's, just a, it's a lot like American football. That's, yeah. It's physical, man. I wouldn't think that, like, just watching it, but, like, the refs let a lot of, a lot of stuff go, like, a lot of check-in and just getting after it, man. So not a lot of Americans like soccer. They think it's boring. They think, you know, there's not a lot of action. As someone who's in one of the most exciting sports. Oh, here we go. We got some action here. No, sir. No way. Oh. Wait, 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 oh. wait, 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 wait. Why is your uh, meter, is my meter on like that too? Is that like the new feature? That's the new feature. So yeah, so you can kind of bend it. I think you can oh, bend it that's, up. Oh, that's got to be, yeah, that's the pro level. So, um... They can't have that on expert. That'd be cheating. <laughs> um, what What would you say to people who aren't fans of soccer, to to sort of kind of get them into the game? As someone who likes the game, how would you sort of sell soccer to American skeptics? Man, I would tell them to um, Ooh, go to the ball. He's go on. to your. Uh, uh. Ooh. What are you doing? Go to your nearest EB games or a game sports <laughs> and buy FIFA and then play it a couple of times. And then once you get good, because I feel like that's what that's what happened to me. I, I got good at the game and then it was like, man, like I learned all these juke moves and stuff. And I was like, wait a minute. You know, they do this in real life. Like, yeah. this is amazing. Like, these probably are some of the best athletes like ever. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly like, what happened to me, too, is that, you know, high school, college, you know, people are playing Madden and FIFA, and then all of a sudden, you know, I'm, I'm playing FIFA, I'm, I'm discovering new people, you know, I'm playing with Liverpool, yeah. it's 0-0 zero, zero for those watching on the stream right now, close matchup, just a I couple shots why. on the goal. Nico should be. I mean, I feel like it's it's super slow right you got, now. You, you're, you're rusting off, you're, you're a little rusty, you know what I mean, you, you're brushing the off the dust. Slow. Slow, so it's a little bit different than last game. I don't know. They probably got to where you could do more or something. I don't know. Whoa, buddy. No way. There oh, we the goal. There we go. Liverpool. All right. Breaking in the action. There we go. And that's how we need it, bro. We need a little action. That's it, man. Now my guys are fed up. Yeah. And I feel sorry for you. <laughs> that's all we need. You're trying to man. get them motivated, you know? Give them the goal. Say, hey, guys, we can't play easy. Can't take this for granted. Now we got to come back. Now you got to come back. So ain't no telling how many we're going to score. You know something about winning championships. National champion. Hell yeah. We were talking about that today, matter of fact. Tell me a little bit about that season. Walk me through what it was like winning the Natty in college. Because I've never talked to a college national champion before. I think you're the first national champion. Oh, that's dope, bro. To. Yeah, man. I mean. It What's was, it like? It was cool. It was a unique season, man. It was, it was just like everybody's. Talk about like it was games to where we would be down and everybody would literally not sweat. We would know we would find a way type of stuff and it just turned into like we went undefeated that year. Yep. So it turned into it, whatever it takes. You and we got closer and closer as it went and then well, I mean once once everybody believed and bought in, it was over with. Mm -hmm. It was just a matter of time. Ooh, ooh. Almost deflection goal there. What was the biggest lesson you learned? I mean, obviously the teamwork, playing with someone, what the championship mentality. Oh, wow. Criminal. Wow. 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 What a loser. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> oh, oh, another chance. Oh, I need Van Dyke there. What are my guys doing? I don't know. We got some sloppy play here. A lot of action down in this end. I don't like it. We got to clear this ball out of here. Get on his head. <laughs> Man, this is back and forth right now. This is one of the hardest interviews just because the game is so back and forth on this one. But as far as lessons go that season and, and what you learned and some of the biggest takeaways um, that you still sort of apply to your game today, wh what would you say is the biggest thing that you learned? Um, I would say that, uh, like, how big the commodity is, like uh, togetherness, how far that could take you. Yep. Um, I would say that alone can we some games. Um, hell yeah, man. I, I would say I, I, I bought into it. I believe it. So if I get any hints of it or, you know, 
I'm selling it myself because I know where it can, how powerful it could be. Yep. Or whatever. So. Now, you also got to play in one of the biggest sports rivalries in the, I'm just going to say in the world. That's right. In War the Eagle, World. Roll Tide. You hate War that Eagle. second one. Tell me about what it means, what War Eagle means to you. War Eagle is everything, man. War Eagle is a way of life. It's, a, it's just a hardworking person. You know, to strive for greatness every day, man. And, you know, we hate Roll Tide. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what do you think when you hear Roll Tide? What's, I just, what's your reaction? It's just disgusting, bro. I hate <laughs> it. You know, it is what it is. But it's funny, though, because now, you know, being like in the league on the next level, you know, you, you befriend some of those guys from the other side right. who you, you came up hating so much. What's that just, like? Becoming friends with some of those players. It's cool. It's a lot of it's a lot of <laughs> talking, bro. It's a lot of you know back and forth. But right now we got we got a common goal. Yep. You know we're hawks. Yep. We trying oh. to get that. Oh. I don't know what's up with this right here, man. They just don't want me to win Messy. or something. They're throwing the game. They're shaving points here. We gotta we gotta see. FIFA's been known to be corrupt. We gotta get a, an investigation into this. Oh. oh oh. Wow. Oh. I can't wait till they, oh yeah, they're gonna be able to see this, man. I'm probably gonna <laughs> score like three goals in the last two minutes the way this is going. Oh, yeah, this is, uh, we're setting up for a close one here at the end. 53rd minute, one nothing Liverpool. Nico with the Barcelona, trying to motivate his guys, get him in that championship mentality. So, uh, man, one thing, oh, here we go. Oh, if you don't kick that there, in there, I'm about to say, what the hell are you doing? There Put my is. point up there, man. <laughs> Get that celebration in. Get Something, that celebration man. in. Yeah. It's like the old school, like you're putting in the cold, man, right after just, uh, uh, I used to know the dance moves. I know. I don't know any of the, uh, the, the see, game. they're getting all advanced. See, back in, back in my day, yeah. they, you just score the goals. Nah, they're, they're, there's like over yeah. uh, 100, 100 yeah. celebrations or yeah. something like yeah. that. It's crazy now. Yeah. So one thing I've noticed this season from you is if people hear any locker room talk, any locker room interviews, there's a sound effect in the background. It's a caw, like a Seahawk almost screaming in the background. It's the bird call. People tell me that's you. That's, that's me and one of my boys for sure. What, what's, he, what's up with the bird call? Let, fill us in on that. The bird call is something that I came up with, um, i say probably Oh, right after this goal here, uh, something I came up a couple years ago. It's just, it's just simple, like a uh, literally a bird call. But <laughs> it started when, you know, you used to hit the the yee. <laughs> you know, if you hit a yee, then you know that's your dog. You know that's you know, pay attention. Something, something is up or something's something. Up. But then it got to the point, go right there. But then it got to the point to where everybody was hitting the you. <laughs> and it meant nothing. It meant nothing. Literally. So you had to break off, do your own thing. That's when I came out with the bird call, bro. And it's it just, I mean, if you, if you hear that song, you could be far away. I don't matter where you are. If you hear that, you're going to think it's one of us, right? All right. I'm going to know now. now. So when I'm out in public. Like, I'm out in Seattle and I hear that. I'm just gonna perk Wherever up. Wherever you at, just know, man, it's one of your boys, man. We around, just hollering at you. I love that. So, as far as gaming off the court, and you know, people like to play a lot of basketball. People like to talk a lot of stuff, and we had Leno Hill in here a couple weeks ago. Doing what? Playing a little NBA 2K. No way. But he and had I, he had some words about you, Nico. And I know he didn't win. He did. He barely won. In wow. the end. Who did he beat? Beat me. Oh, Buzz, I got a skunk buzzer you. beater. I got a skunk you now. Nah, that's the, what I'm saying, the man. The fact that Leno beat you. Yeah, I had that early lead. <sighs> says a lot, bro. But Leno also had some things to say about you and your basketball game. My real life basketball game? Real life basketball game. He said you are the one guy who is all talk. Yeah, right. First off, Leno knows. I mean... I wouldn't say I killed it when I went up there. He's going off my shots. So we, you know, we compete when we go up there. Yep. He might have. You can't go fact, too hard. I've shot with the uh, with the dislocated wrist before. So. Whoa. Which time? Oh, Lena. I mean, I forgot who I was going against, but 
I mean, which time is he talking about? Did I have a good wrist or not? He just said that of all the guys, you are the one that's all talk. So I wanted to know. I needed to hear from the guy himself. I needed to hear from the source. Listen, man, I'm an athlete. You feel me? Leno, one-on-one. Uh, I wouldn't bet on Leno. I beat him. What about in gaming? You think you got Leno, too? Yes, that's why I don't understand what, what uh... Maybe we need to set up Hawks Live Gaming, Leno versus Nico. Put our money where our mouth is. All be Leno don't even have a, a system. Whoa. I don't think. And if He's, he do, he don't bring it out when I'm around. Dang, it's a big talk here. Yeah. It's a big talk from Nico Thorpe. So, I love that. I love hearing that. That's great. And now he's running circles around me. He said it was happening. Ugh. Oh. I mean, you said lay no beat you, so I got to at least try to beat you by at least four The FIFA God five. had to turn it up. See, he gave me the one goal to make me feel good. He's a nice guy. He's I a am, gentleman. Man. I try to be. That's, that's, see, that's that. The fact that you evil. understand that, man, yeah. that, 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 that says a lot about you, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate you. A I lot of people you. don't take that the right way, man. <laughs> you know, they think that... Uh, that it was luck or something. No, nope, no. Nope. Nah, man. So, so let's talk about off the field. Let's talk about what are you doing when you're relaxing? You watching movies? You watching TV? What do, what do you like to do when you're relaxing off the field? Um, I'm, I like to chill. Uh, probably somewhere with my feet up or running around with my kids. Yep. I got two, uh, two daughters, six and three, so they're full of energy. Yep. Right now, so you're in full dad mode. Full dad mode, the whole thing. I love it. We you gotta, just, you gotta talk to Pete. Maybe he can hook you up with some of those monarchs, some of those dad shoes. Get uh, you looking fresh too. Uh, I got, I got, I got a fresh pair. Oh, fresh pair of monarchs. Okay. I bring them out from time to time. You know what I'm saying? Every time I bring them out, I kill them. When you're uh, mowing the lawn. Nah, <laughs> I bring them out for the game. <laughs> for the game, pregame. No, to game day. I oh, wear wow. it on game day. Hell yeah. Game Day Monarchs. You and yes, Pete. Yes, fresh. What about, how can, tell people who, you know, how, how can someone who's not confident rock Monarchs? How can someone be confident in that look? Let me tell you how to rock anything. And I ain't gonna say rock no crazy stuff, but if you want to rock it, you want to rock it. So all you gotta do is put it on and just go about your business, man. I love That's that. it. Just put it on. Just put it on, man. It's some shoes. Yep. Lace it up, and they're going to get you where you want to go. You have a favorite pair of shoes you like to wear get before games? You said the Monarchs. Is there anything else that you like to wear or, or do pregame to kind of get you ready for games? Uh, I wouldn't say favorite because I like to mix it up. Yeah, I like to switch, switch the swag up a little bit, but I like to stay fresh, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm a... I'm a uh, I, I'm quick to go throw back on you or something, bring Ooh. back some of the old, some of the old '90s stuff that I used to wear for these young guys. I you love know, that. I'm kind of I'm one of the older guys around here, so I try to show these guys what they're trying to do. That's my era. I love the '90s. So if you're repping the '90s, bro, I'm talking about all the way from. I got a, like a whole uh, um, Generation X uh, sweatsuit with the jacket, Ooh. with the shirt. With um, Triple H and all of them on it, China. Oh, okay, we're talking some WWF, some No Mercy here. Yeah. Okay. Hey, yeah, WWF before the E. Before the E. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the FIFA God is victorious. Nico oh, damn, Thorpe. that's game. That's game. That was 20 minutes in and out. Nico doing quick work, telling us a little bit about his life. Big thank you. Hey. If I hear the call. The call. Uh, I'm gonna know who it is. Ka, yeah, ka. Is that good? Ka. Yep, that's right. that's that's that'll do it. And then that'll I need get, to man, that'll get my attention. And next time we're gonna get Leno, we're gonna get Nico. Man, we're we're gonna try get and get Leno, together. and then we're gonna, we're gonna see we're what gonna bring we're gonna put every EA sport game and just let me just run through them and just show them who the, the king is. Who the king is. His chain says easy. Three Z's. Three Z's. He's making it easy for himself and all Seahawk fans. Nico Thorpe, big thanks. For sure. Thank you.